Okay, so here's something new I got from the scrapyard a week ago. AC and DC welder and a generator. Miller with a Onan 18 horsepower opposed twin. Had um, got this for 70 bucks. It was about 700 pounds on the scale. And the engine turns over but it does not fire because it has this coil but it doesn't have points so gotta figure out how this thing is wired I don't think it has points because it's a 18XSL but uh, it's got a few rust spots there used to be a hook here I think because I looked these up online and have a hook on there to lift it up yes because this thing you cannot pull it with a little small tractor you gotta get the truck out and pull it but uh, there was a little bit of a nest in there when I got it I took the cover off and there's a good bit of rust in here but I mean not too bad it probably damaged anything there's only one wire I saw that was uh, chewed up back there Unbolt all the sides. Your generator plugs are right here. 220-120 plug. Uh, that's for if you're welding, and that's why you're welding actually. And then your ground, and then your AC, and then your DC, and then your amps, and I don't remember what this is, and your engine control and your choke. And yeah, this is the wire that was torn up. This is the only wire I see that's torn up in this thing. Except for this one. I think there's like a rat in here or something. But there's still a good bit of a nest in there. I gotta get out. But uh, it looks like it would be functioning if I would be able to get that engine running. Although, it's kind of a nightmare with all these wires everywhere. So. And I don't know if that circuit board is any good with the rectifier on there. Or whatever that is or these relays and some of these transformers don't look like they're good but they might still work so just gotta see what I can do about that and yeah it does turn over it's got good compression and when I got it I took the plugs out and there's a little bit of water in the cylinders but it shouldn't be that too bad and the oil was really bad. It's got this yellowish crud in there. So I gotta flush that out with some fresh oil. Or just use the oil of that because it's got water in the crankcase and I need to change the filter. <clears throat> you got your positive and negative terminals right here for the battery. For some reason, I can't get this thing to crank. I did put a fuse in here, but I took it out for right now. Um, this goes to the solenoid, but I took this and just touched it right here. To start it. Or try to start it, but it's not going to crank without that coil running, I don't think. So, I got to figure out how that's wired. And probably need a new ignition switch, or either these wires might be chewed up somewhere. Or just not getting a good connection and they go down here and they go into this just this huge stack and I don't know where exactly it's linked to except for right there and then it comes out right here and it goes to all the engine components but yeah just another project they got and I'll do an update video right after this so if anybody could tell me how I'm supposed to wire the coil or if it's supposed to or um actually if it's got the same plug I mean I, I just got to figure out how to get power to the coil am I supposed to put it on both of these terminals on here that are positive and negative or am I supposed to just hook up something else because this goes to the rectifier probably goes to the stator under there 
these two wires I don't know where they go because that little white thing doesn't come out anywhere over here so so yeah and these two wires go to the solenoid right here because this does have the automatic throttle uh, thing on it so yeah um there's a couple of other wires down here um they go to uh, don't really even know where they go to one of them goes to the coil right here but I don't know where this other wire goes it probably goes to some kind of sensor to let it know to fire but anyway thanks for watching